Hello everyone and welcome to the Maple Valley Community Spotlight. I'm Tally Pierre, I'm Maple Valley's Park Bench Ambassador and also a real estate agent for General Scott. Today I'm speaking to Josh Lyons. He's the president of the board of the Tahoma School Foundation. Josh, thank you so much for joining me today. Yeah, thanks for having me. I'm a big fan of the foundation's work. Can you tell us what the foundation does, why it was formed, and what the mission is? Sure. The Tahoma Schools Foundation was formed quite some time ago, actually, by a group of businesses in the in the Maple Valley Chamber. It's called Maple Valley Businesses for Tahoma Schools, I think was the original mm -hmm. name. And uh, that was sometime, I think, in the early 90s. Oh, okay. Uh, that was a time of pretty considerable growth for Tahoma uh, School District, probably phase one of the growth spurt we've seen. And uh, Tahoma has always kind of sat in, in a precarious position. It's a pretty affluent community, mm -hmm. uh, but it lacks uh, a couple of things. Uh, one is the revenue, tax revenue that businesses right. uh, could provide, uh, not having a huge uh, business uh, kind of base. Uh, and then um, it's, but in, in that regard, it's well off enough that it often doesn't qualify for federal programs uh, and funding, uh, leaving a funding gap okay. uh, that exists uh, for just that middle of the road school district uh, that we are. Right. So Thomas Schools Foundation uh, was, was kind of reborn uh, when Rob Morrow took over as superintendent, okay. uh, which was about six years ago now. And uh, since that time, we've been raising money uh, to provide funding for programs that just are not funded uh, through traditional methods. Right. And what types of programs does the foundation provide for the district? We launched Toma, the Toma Schools Foundation kind of rebirth on a program called Kindergarten Camp, mm -hmm. recognizing that there was several students that were coming into the district unprepared for kindergarten, uh, which has kind of a ripple effect across uh, all grades, K through 12, uh, when they come in at a disadvantage, more resources are having to put into those students. Uh, there's pretty significant evidence that those students uh, have a tremendously difficult time catching up, right. uh, even with those extra resources. So the idea was, is like, let's get them prepared uh, prior to entering the system. So that's how that's the program we launched. Uh, mm -hmm. But since that time, uh, we've also provided um, funding for the robotics club at the high school. Oh. Uh, we bought a, a fairly significant projector for the drama program. Uh, we've purchased uh, instruments that are kind of out of the, the typical spectrum for the marching band. Oh, okay. uh, and we just recently bought computers for uh, the junior high uh, who ha was having issues with providing uh, extra extracurricular uh, activities like robotics uh, and they just didn't have enough computers. Okay, wow, that's yeah, that's a lot. And I, a lot. Uh, yeah, yeah, I really got interested in the foundation because of the kindergarten program because I just thought it was such a great idea. Yeah, and I think at the time I didn't realize all the other programs as yeah. well. Mm -hmm. So how are all these programs funded? They're funded 100% through donations from the community. Uh, we have started to really gain our footing in the form of what kinds of fundraisers we have hold. Uh, where we have events. Mm -hmm. So we've done several different events that we're now known for. One of them is we bring in a basketball group similar to the Harlem Globe Trotters uh, called, the, called the Harlem Wizards. Um, we had, uh, we were very lucky uh, to get Brandy Carlisle to uh, agree to do a benefit concert for us. That was a uh, tremendous <laughs> coup for us. Um, hopefully she'll agree to do that again <laughs> at some point. Um, we have uh, we have had tremendous support from the teachers. Mm -hmm. The teachers themselves uh, will donate a certain amount out of their paychecks each month. Uh, so that's been tremendous. And the business community that does exist in Maple Valley, although asked uh, from so many different places uh, and angles, they have also provided tremendous support to us as well. Mm -hmm. So a uh, variety of sources, uh, I would say. Yeah. yeah. That's great. Yeah, I, I think just the fact that the teachers supported out of their paycheck mm -hmm. is just a real mm -hmm. sign of what good work the foundation's doing. That the teachers are they, they really, see it and they yeah. see the need and they're willing to, to yeah. donate to that. Yeah, yeah, and that would be I think as um, as I'm am leading this group uh, through the next couple of years, I'd like to see us tap just the general community right. uh, to provide at least match that level of support that the okay. teachers are providing, and we just. Uh, it's not so much that the community has refused, it's just that we have not necessarily made that our, our goal or effort. 
Uh, so we will we will be seeking ways of, of doing that in the That's future. Great. Mm -hmm. That's great. Yeah. And Josh, how long have you worked on the board? So I've been on the board since this rebirth effort. Okay. So uh, we'd go back about six years. Actually, it's probably going on about seven now. Okay. Uh, and so that's how long I've been on the board. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's a lot of work. Yeah. And I know that outside of the board, you also have your own business. You mm -hmm. want to tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so my wife, Stacy and I, we, we live in, in Maple Valley. Uh, our kids go to Toma schools. Uh, we own uh, and, and have owned Pinnacle Physical Therapy. Uh, and that's in Maple Valley, Covington, Enumclaw. So that's our primary business. We do a couple other things, but that's the local, right. the local things that we do. Right. Yeah. yeah. So you're pretty involved in the community all the way around. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And so, how do people, if people are interested and they want to little learn more, or of course we hope maybe donate to the foundation, how would they go about doing that? So, on both thing, on both occasions, if you want to learn more about what we do, if you want to do, certainly donate, the easiest way is to go to TomaSchoolsFoundation.org. Uh, all one word, no capitals, just TomaSchoolsFoundation.org. Uh, there's a pretty easy set of directions mm -hmm. that you can click on uh, to donate. Uh, we, we use a, a group called Donately, uh, and uh, it's all secure mm -hmm. and that type of thing. And um, you can do recurring, you can do a one-time contribution or recurring. Uh, contribution. We have info information on what kinds of events we're holding uh, and what we're contributing to. So uh, that's probably the best place to get okay. information. Okay. And I encourage other business owners, um, you can become a business sponsor for the foundation um, and then you'll get featured on their website as well. Absolutely. So um, thank you so much for joining me today. Yeah. Uh, again, I'm Tally Pierre. Um, visit the website at parkbench.com slash maple valley and I will see you next time. Thank you.